Right, so uh, welcome to the hot tub stroke solar panel great experiment. So I've done another video and um, we just rushed it really. It was just on, 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 on all the time, the hot tub. What we're going to do with this experiment is any excess solar, I'm going to try and dump it in the hot tub. So the hot tub is not going to be on all the time. It's only going to be on uh, when the sun is shining far too much, okay? So, filling it at the moment with freezing cold water. So, I imagine nothing's, it ain't gonna be hot today. It's gonna creep the temperature up, okay? So, the, the place is a tip purely because we had the party uh, for my daughter's birthday and a load of teenage girls were here. So we have a little mark, scorch mark on the grass there where it was, so I just moved it over to help the grass recover. And as you can see, I've just, just not tied it up. Okay, so um, if you've not seen the video before, we've got a video on how to make this building here. It's my off office stroke bar. So it's a tip. Don't like to film it like this. So of course, somebody can work here while looking out on the garden. And we have some entertaining space as well. As you can see, happy birthday. Okay, again, it's a tip because we've not tidied it up and it is the morning. So let's talk about the system. So here's the battery system. I've opened this up so you can see what's going on, okay? So um, we have, we've made them extra long, some of these cables, we can chop them back in case it's an issue. But anyway, we are gonna preserve this. This is a, a 9.5 kilowatt battery. I'm gonna make sure this is powering the house at all times. I'm not gonna be irresponsible like I we were in the last video and just bang, 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 all into the hot tub. I'm gonna look after this, excess solar only. And I can tell by looking at the app when the excess solar, um, and, and also how the day's gonna be, the weather-wise and stuff. So I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it. Let's see if we can do the panels. So can you see the panels here? I've done it in such a way so you can't see the panels. Oh, if you can see that, I'll, I'll, I'll try and angle it, but they're on there. Okay, 3.8 kilowatts worth, 10 panels. The only way I'm gonna be able to do it is to turn it on um, when I go to work via this, because you've got to press a few buttons and unlock it. Okay, I can't turn it on and off, on and off, on and off. So I'll have to turn it on, keep an eye on the app and the weather and predict it myself and then bang it off. Um, and it'll just keep it slowly, slowly, slowly raising the temperature. So I say, if this takes a week, I say that's a success, it might just not be possible. It might just be that we just have to give it a two hour boost to get in the hot tub. Is that a disaster? Probably not either. So um, yeah, let's just see how we go. I'll do some videos, different times of the week, how we're getting on pros and cons and uh, hopefully our our friend up there will heat this hot tub with the excess solar so this is excess solar only okay so we're full freezing cold water 17 degrees it says the hot tub so we've got to get all the way up to 40 bit of a task um she's got the oven on at the moment so i'll wait for the dinner to be made and uh, hopefully the, this will help us out. Um, let's see if you can see the 17 degrees. I don't know if it's showing it. Uh, hopefully you can see that. Uh, anyway, it's 17, so stick it on get a couple of degrees in it possibly today right so it's uh one o'clock it's sunday the slow cooker's on so that's drawing 300 watts i've just realized anyway that's going to cook the tea so i'm going to stick this on for an hour and a half i think right so you can see the house in the middle so that's the hot tub now and the house just ticking over uh, the goal is to keep it below 3.6 kilowatts otherwise it'll draw it from the national grid don't want to use any of that expensive energy from there. So 
just turned it on to get a temperature reading. So I think, let's see, press and hold. Right, what's it at? 28, so we'll just circulate it for a minute. 27, 26, 26. Started off at 17, 26, that's nine, nine degrees. It's gone up. And I think we've had it on about four hours. Excess solar on and off today. So it's raised the temperature for tomorrow. Um, and I it might just sit where it is, we'll see. But it's uh, 7.30 tonight and the battery's at 50%. I, I don't see any point wasted in any more power on it, even though we've got plenty to do another hour. So we'll do it tomorrow. That's that's the big experiment when we're up to some sort of temperature not 17. You see the battery readings um, just take us through the night and a bit for the morning um, so I'll either start it in the morning or I don't know dinner time or something or a bit later probably be full up then or excess solar again so I uh, just thought you'd want to see the readings so good morning now this is not what I wanted to see it's on the machine, finishes in an hour, just when I'm about to put the hot tub on. So this explains the system why we have less power than what I originally thought. So um, I'll have to do things slightly differently, possibly. We'll just have to see, I'm going to have to wing it. Right, good morning. I haven't quite decided how we're going to do this as of yet. Well, let's have a look, so we're on. 24 I don't know if you can see that so it's lost a bit of temperature but we have had a couple of gains from yesterday's free solar haven't decided as of yet how we're going to approach it but at nine o'clock I'm going to have to stick it on and then at some point decide if I keep checking the app every half an hour setting an alarm on my phone um, to do what we're going to do right so I just heard some devastating news this is going on. She wants to put the machine on the dishwasher, the most hungry appliance in the entire house. So requested goes on at 1.30. So today that would be written off now because of this. Depends on the sun. Right, so if this meter moves today, then we've we've ruined the experiment. Hopefully it won't move. Can you see the anti go backwards symbol? Right, change of tactic. The battery's only at 22% and the dishwasher needs to go on. So you might as well drain that battery down to 10% and then I'll ask her to put the hot tub on at one o'clock if we have enough power. Because obviously we want to make sure that we've got enough for the whole day and for tonight as well. So this is how difficult it is, you've got to mess around with it. So. Um, change of tactic last minute. So it's still at 26 degrees, I don't know if you can see it or not. It's 12 o'clock, the battery is at 66%. We do, we're going to end up with excess solar. I've now got to go to work and we will turn it off via our smart plug here and I will monitor it. In the meantime, better get some plumbing done. So, okay, this is definitely going to be the excess solar. Quick look at the graph and it's holding its own at the moment. It's 215, the battery's at about 57%. It needs a right good blast from the sun, which we're getting now anyway. Um, the hot tub, 31 from 16 from yesterday. So we're getting there, we're getting there. Was it 32? Anyway, I need the energy in the battery, so. It needs to be turned off for an hour or two get it dead high and then um, well it'll either be that's it for today or it will be have another blast later on we'll see so of course I want to power the house and all the appliances and everything in here um, on solar and not use anything from the grid so that is it for day two rock on day three more like it that's the sort of manchester we're used to 
obviously now solar production has dropped to next to nothing. Day three. Right, good morning. So, just checked. And after the storm last night, on 26. So, I imagine this is the theory. We start from 16 up to 22, drop back down, go back up, drop back down. Will we ever get to 40 or will it just plateau out at a certain temperature where it always needs an initial boost? I think that might be reality, but can we get it at this point here where all it needs is four hours to get us back to the magic number? So one benefit of today is the wife is going to work. So there's no washing machine on, nothing's going to be on. There's going to be no dryer on. Well, we shouldn't be putting the dryer on today, but no dishwasher. So... We're starting relatively low, so I might have to really drain the battery and hope the solar kicks in. So it was probably only going to get an hour or a half boost or two. It all depends on the sun. So um, remember, I want to make sure the house is always supplied as well. It's way too low um, for my liking. We're going to go down as low as possible and then catch up with solar while I'm at work. No choice. So I'm still at work uh, looking at the, um, the graph here. It's dinner time, by the way. It's doing really, really well. It's holding its own. I've got to charge the battery, though, for the rest of the day to keep us going through the night. So I'm going to, going to reassess, it, reassess it in another hour. Um, if I get back home, I'll, I'll check the temperature, but I really don't know where we're going to be because I'm working. So um, that's where we are. Right, it's 12.45. I really need to turn this off. Otherwise, I'm going to have no solar left for the house 37 we're at. So that is awesome. I'm going to turn it off remotely in half an hour or an hour. That's got to be 38. Or I might leave it longer. But we've done it. It's absolutely done it in three days on excess solar. So amazing. So we're quite low, so we need to top up the battery. Otherwise, we're not going to make it uh, through the day. So I leave it for another hour than what I planned. I've decided to go for it. Right, so the reality is, I'm still at work and the hot tub has hit temperature. And I can tell by looking at the app, it, it's knocked down, so it's got to 40 degrees. It's now two o'clock and I need to recharge the, uh, the, the battery in order to have to cook my tea tonight and get through the night. So if we can do that, then it's been a success. But the only problem is I'm here at work, so I can't enjoy the hot tub. I simply can't maintain the temperature on the solar as we've run out, but it has hit the crucial point of 40 degrees in three days. So what are we on? 40. It's made it. And I've been half an hour shooting back. So I'll turn that off. So three days that's been excess solar. Um, problem is there's nobody here to enjoy it and of course it's too hot here in rainy Manchester um, you just wouldn't really want to get in it at 40 degrees so providing I can get go to bed tonight with the battery at 20% then it has been at 100% cold start solar so wow I don't think you'd get away with it though in the autumn so we're playing catch up now, we're at 60%. If this sun continues for another hour and a half, we're gonna be around probably 80%, which we have done it. So let's see what happens. So it's okay. I knew it would drop a degree because it's been left. So a decision has to be made now. So it's it's four o'clock and the sun has gone in. It's not gone in, but you know, it's towards the end of the day when it comes to solar. And I'll show you the um, chart in a minute. But what it's doing is 
it's producing about six, 700 watts. The house is using three, so it's slowly, slowly catching it up. We're almost at 80%. So what that means now is that we can, after tea, if we wanted to, get in the hot tub and have a couple of hours in here and now still get through the night on the rest of the battery. So it is 100% success. Um, so well, well happy. Only problem we've got is it's probably too hot. Um, you know, where we are at the moment in Manchester, which, which is so unusual, but it, it is what it is. So yeah, it is great. What I'm not sure I'm gonna do is let it cool down tomorrow, see what it is in the morning again, see if we can catch back up to 40, which we should be able to, see how long that takes um, as well. So again, it's weather dependent, but um, it, it's done it. And what this means really is if I know I'm gonna, you know, have a hot tub party or need the hot tub in, in four or five days, I can slow start it. Um, like we just have done over the last three days and creep it up all the time and if necessary Which it, we don't need, need to at the moment is just give it a quick blast from the grid for a couple of kilowatts But as of this experiment not needed to so um, Anyway, look forward to uh, any comments uh, You know likes or dislikes whatever it ain't a problem and I'm not sure if we're going to do one tomorrow, so if we do, we do. If we don't, we don't. We've already made it. Perhaps the video's too long. Not really sure. So it's half past ten at night. I'm about to go to bed. And of course, I noticed the hot tub was on at 37 degrees. And the battery's full, so I might as well top it up to 40 whatever for the next two hours because I think the sun's going to shine tomorrow let's go over to the dark area so this is what you got to do you got to use the energy when you're supposed to do so we're going to do that one um, why not don't want to send it back to the grid for free do we so 20% is cool when you go to bed not 82% way 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 too much energy just going to discharge it to the grid obviously so right we'll we'll heat the hot tub get it up to 40 it'll be don't know 12 o'clock at night let it drop in the morning back to don't know 35 <laughs> guessing good night So just a close-up of the app and uh, we stick it on a timer, go to bed and that's how I've been controlling it. So stop in so many minutes, whatever. So this is definitely the end of the video. So um, please like, subscribe, make your comments and uh, thanks for watching.